guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea here. Today we're having another class from my beautiful muscle plan. I hope you guys are enjoying that. And today we're gonna be focusing mostly on opening our shoulders and opening our hips. We're working with some compass variations, so it's gonna be a fun class. Let's go straight to the floor, roll out your mat, see you there. And let's start in any comfortable sitting position. Whatever is comfortable for you, just get there, close your eyes, disconnect from the outside world, relax the shoulders, and let's arrive in the moment, let's arrive in the present. If you have an intention that you like to set, go ahead, give me anything in your mind. And let's start our practice today, connecting with three purifying breaths. Inhale through your nose, Exhale, release. Big inhalation, opening up. Exhale, let it go. Last one, inhale. Exhale, release. Slowly bow your head, gently open your eyes. All right, let's start by bringing the hands on the floor, coming into your tabletop position, making sure the shoulders are on top of the hands and the hips on top of the knees. As you inhale, we're gonna drop the belly, open the chest, look up, waking up those muscles. Exhale, round and contract, belly in. One more. Inhale, dropping the belly, opening the chest, looking up. Exhale, rounding and contracting, belly in. Slowly come back to your neutral spine. As we inhale, we're gonna bring the right arm all the way up, opening up. And as soon as you exhale, reach all the way to the left, dropping the right shoulder on the floor. You can keep the left hand on the mat just for support here for the next part, all right? So as we inhale, we're gonna start bringing the left leg up to the ceiling reaching up, keep the right shoulder glued to the floor, and slowly the left leg is gonna reach out to the side until it drops on the floor. Keep the left hand on the mat, and we're gonna bring the right arm up to the ceiling for a nice opening, a nice twist, and the right hand comes back into the mat. Keep the hands on the floor, we're gonna start shifting the weight forward and shifting the weight back. Sending the hips forward and sending the hips back. Let's do one more, but this time bring the left arm under the left leg, reaching the left hand to the lower back. Same idea, shift the weight forward and we shift the weight back. Slowly release the left hand, both hands on the floor. Bring the left heel up to the ceiling, send it all the way to the back. Bend the left knee and bring the left knee on the outside of the right knee. Open both feet so you can send the hips back. Once you are right there, we're gonna reach the arms and grab opposite elbows. Open the chest, open the heart, look up and slowly release, reverse, kick the left leg up, keep the left knee bended as you touch the back of your head, knee to nose to kiss it, and drop the knee back into the tabletop, keep the hips on top of the knees, walk the hands forward, and let's come into the puppy dog, sinking into the floor, opening the chest, resetting for one more breath and slowly walk the hands back into the table, keeping the shoulders on top of your hands. Let's go for the second side, left arm reaches up, opening up, and we reach all the way to the right, dropping the left shoulder, keeping the right hand on the mat, and keeping the left shoulder glued to the floor. We're gonna start lifting the right leg up to the ceiling and making a big circle so the right leg passes to the side, arrives all the way in front. Once the right foot is on the floor, right hand stays there, we reach the left arm up, opening up, another hip, another shoulder opening, and drop the left hand on the floor. And at your own time, we start shifting the weight forward and shifting the weight back. Do it for a few more breaths. And for the last one, we're gonna stay with the weight back. And we're gonna do the same thing by bringing the right arm under the right leg and reaching the right hand to the lower back. Just to open a little bit the shoulder, same idea. Shift the weight all the way to the front. And we shift the weight all the way to the back. Drop the right hand, press both hands against the floor. Right heel comes off all the way to the side, all the way to the back. 
bend the right knee, drop it on the outside of the left knee, open both feet, and we send the weight back. We're not sitting on the heels here, sitting on the floor, reach the arms to the ceiling, grabbing opposite elbows, open the chest, open the heart. Slowly releasing, reaching the hands forward, right leg comes up to reverse, touch the back of your head, knee to nose to kiss it, and drop the knee back into the mat. Keep the shoulders on top of your hands, tuck the toes, bang, bring the knees off the mat, hold it here for one breath, and once you are ready, we extend into that downward facing dog. Take a moment in the downward dog, walk your dog, move your hips side to side, do whatever your body needs right now to prepare us for our practice. Feel free to go into any vinyasas before we go into the sequence today. We do one more breath here, deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Inhale, look up, jump or step all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms come up. Hands through the center. Falling all the way down. Inhale, look halfway up. Exhale, jump or step back. Chaturanga. Modify your chaturanga if you need to. Pass into that upward facing dog. Back into that downward facing dog. As we inhale, we're going to bring the right leg up to the ceiling, right leg extended. We're going to keep the right leg extended and we're going to try to make a big circle just like the warm up. A big circle all the way to the side, all the way to the front. Once it arrives there, drop the right foot right beside the right hand and we're going to send the way forward and send the way back just like the warm up. Two more, send the way forward, feeling the hip opening knee to the side, send the way back. The last one, bring the right arm under the right leg, send the way forward and send the way back. Slowly drop the right hand on the floor, shift the way forward and we're going to step the left foot on the top to the outside of the left hand as we come to our malasana. <laughs> Hands on prayer, opening the shoulders, opening the hips. We're gonna start by just working a little bit with hip mobility and working with the core as well before we open into the shoulders. So first, we're gonna stay in the malasana and the left knee is gonna drop to the floor. So left knee drops to the floor as we look to the right and then we reverse it. Right knee drops to the floor as we look to the left and then we reverse it. Let's try one more round. Let me do it with you facing the same so you can see. Left knee down, look to the right. Coming back to center. Right knee down, looking left. Coming back to center. All right, guys, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna open the right arm in front, left arm reaches up, looking up, opening up. Option to interlace the hands. One more inhalation. Exhale, release it. Drop the hands in front. You're still facing the front. I'm just gonna face you sideways so you can see me from the front. Now, the next part, we're gonna bring the hips up and we're gonna rotate the toes so they're pointing forward. Now, the left hand first is gonna grab the right foot, the right ankle, and then the right hand is gonna grab the left ankle. All right, let me face the side now. From here, we're gonna try to bend the knees, send the hips all the way down. You're still grabbing the ankles. And as we inhale, we're gonna lift the hips and open the right elbow so the head can come through. You're opening the right shoulder here. You're looking towards the right armpit and then reverse it, bend the hips. Let's try two more times. Opening up, look to the right armpit. Reverse, coming down, last one a little deeper, look into the right armpit, opening up, reverse, release, drop the hands on the floor. We're going to slowly press the hands, bend the left knee slightly as we lift the right foot off to make a big circle to reach all the way to the back of your mat, dropping the weight to the side and rotating to face in the back of your mat, right arm reaches up. Send the hips back, again, right arm to the lower back, feeling that opening. Inhale, shifting the way forward, keep the right shoulder where it is. Now we're gonna drop the left heel, and if possible, left arm comes up, 
and maybe interlace the hands behind. Feel that opening, open the left shoulder. One more inhalation here. Slowly release, hands on prayer and completely transfer the weight to the right side. Let's go to the left, all the way to the left side. Try to do it without touching the floor. Reverse back to the right side. And this time we're gonna let the hips drop. Dropping the hips on the floor and we're gonna make sure the right knee is pointing up. If this feels weird, bring the right foot a little bit more in, adjust your steps. Now left hand grabs the right ankle, right arm reaches to the left with the goal of trying to grab the outside of the left foot. If you grab it, you look out to the right my armpit, the same work that we've been doing. Either you stay like that or you keep reaching for one more breath. If you're grabbing, try to get even deeper. Slowly release, come back up. Walk that right foot to the front. Do a little hop so you can be in the middle of your mat. Reach the arms forward. Let's go into a quick boat pose, reaching forward. And we're gonna come into that Malasana again. All right, guys, so playing with the variations of compounds right now. Feeling good here, feeling good in the hips, feeling good in the shoulders. First one we're gonna play. We're gonna bring the hips halfway up and we're gonna bring the right arm under, under the right leg, right hand comes on the outside of the right foot. Left hand is gonna reach to grab the right foot. We're staying there. Hold it for the inhalation, bend the hips, I mean, sorry, bend the knees, extend the knees, bend the knees, extend the knees, last one, bend the knees and stay there. Keep the weight on the right hand, the next part will be try to grab the right foot and see if you feel free to bring the right foot off the mat. If that feels comfortable, the next step will be to try to extend the right leg either forward or a little bit more so you can get the head through. The right leg is kind of going to the side here. Try for one more breath. And once you had enough of that, drop the hips, stay with this arm where it is. We're gonna release the left hand and bring it to the outside as well. Both hands on the floor, left foot is on the mat. As we inhale, we're gonna try to bring the hips off and maybe extend the right leg as we look up, hip higher, hip reaching to the ceiling. Exhale, drop the hips. Last one, guys, we're almost there. Drop the left knee, so we're kind of like in a sitting position. The right arm stays in the same place. If you felt like the leg fall, use the right uh, left hand to bring the leg a little higher. So just facing the side so you know what I'm doing here. Right hand stays there. Left hand grabs the outside of the right foot again. And this time we go into a regular compass. That one will feel a little bit better. If this doesn't happen, guys, feel free to use a strap here. You can just stay here, come halfway, or the last version will be to come all the way and try to look towards the left armpit. Let's do one more breath there. And slowly release. Bring that right leg on top of the left leg, kind of like crossing in front, and just send the arms forward to give a little bit of a reset here. Take three breaths before we go into the second side. If you have a, uh, if you need a sip of water, towel, anything at all, please go ahead. We're about to go straight into the second side, feeling the shoulders, feeling those hips open. Let's do one more breath, wherever you are. Deep inhalation. And deep exhalation. Slowly walk the hands back. Shift the weight back. You can either, hands on the floor, you can step back into plank. You can jump back into your vinyasa. Anything that you need to do to bring ourselves back into that downward dog to get us ready for that second side. Let's do one more breath here. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Inhale, left leg comes up, three-legged dog. Big circle of the left leg, passing through the side, all the way to the front. Once it arrives there, we shift the way back, aiming to extend the front leg. Shift the way forward, just like the warm up. One more. Shift the way back. Shift the way forward. And now for this one, the left arm comes under the left leg, reaching towards your lower back, the left hand. Let's try one more time. Shift the way back. 
and shift the weight forward. Amazing, release the left hand. And we're gonna step the right foot as well to the front, come back into that malasana, into that yogi squat. Let's do one more time, the hip mobility, and then we move to the shoulders. Hands on prayer. We start this time with the right knee dropping on the floor, looking to the left. Inhale, right knee down, rotate to face the left. Exhale, reverse. Left knee down, looking to the right. Exhale, down. Right knee down, looking to the left. Exhale, down. Left knee down. Exhale, forward. Good job, guys. Let's open the left shoulder. Left arm in front of the left knee. Right arm reaches up. Either you stay like that or you interlace the hands to open the shoulders. Release it. Hands on the floor. Hands in front, hips come halfway up. Now we're gonna bring this time the right hand first. Grabbing the left ankle, left hand, grabbing the right ankle. Either we stay like that, extend the legs, and bend the knees, hips come down. Two more times. Extending the legs, bending the knees. Last one, extending the legs. Bend in the knees, stay where you are. Now we are gonna extend and try to open the left elbow forward so the head can come through and you can look towards the left arm. I'm just showing you here so you have an idea. Try to open, opening up, slowly release it. Two more times, opening up, slowly releasing. Last one, same idea, opening up and slowly release. Slowly release the hands in front. All right, guys, press the hands as the left leg comes out to the side, all the way to the back, transfer the weight to the back, and rotate to face the front of your mat, I mean the back of your mat, right hand down, left arm comes up, send the hips back, and send the hips forward, left arm comes under the left leg, send the hips back, Send the hips forward, drop the right heel, rotate to face the side and interlace the hands behind. Now in this position, I want you to focus on opening that right shoulder to point it up to the ceiling. That's very important. Stay where you are, hold it here. We got one more breath. Slowly release, rotate to face the side completely, hands on prayer or hands on the floor. Inhale, transfer to the right. Transfer back to the left and we stay there and let the hip come down. We're gonna let the hip come down and we're gonna make sure the left knee is pointing up to the ceiling. The right hand is gonna try to grab the left ankle. Once we have that, left arm reaches to the right and we're trying to grab that outside of the right foot to open the left shoulder for one more breath. Slowly release, coming back up, rotate to face the front, little hop to come in the middle of your mat, and let's do one more boat here, reaching forward, knees bended or extended, and we reverse back into that malasana, everything in malasana today. All right, guys, we are getting ready. Three more compass variations on this, and we are almost there. Let's get those shoulders working. First one, hips come halfway up, left arm under the left leg, left hand comes on the outside of the left foot, hips down, right hand reaches to grab the left foot. Let's do a little more warm up here. Hips come up, hips come down, keep grabbing the right foot. The left foot, sorry, I'm gonna face you so you have an idea. Again, hips come up, hips come down. Last one, hips come up, hips come down. Keep grabbing that left foot. The next step will be to transfer the weight on the left hand and see if it's possible to bring that left foot off the mat. Right now, maybe this feels uncomfortable, just stay there. Maybe you're able to aim to extend halfway, maybe you're able to extend all the way, looking towards that right armpit, hold it there. Reverse, drop the hips. Now the next one, 
You are staying with the left leg where it is. Drop the right hand as well. Right knee is pointing up, right foot is on the floor. Make sure the left leg is not falling down. If it's happening, bring it higher. The next step, we have the hands on the floor, especially the fingers, and we start sending the hips up. Kind of like a little swing. Not to the back, to the ceiling, to try this version. So we bring the hips up. Once you are there, you try to extend the leg. Last thing, reaching up, and maybe right heel coming up. Hold it wherever you are. Yes, hips higher. And release, hips down. Drop the leg. And we go for a regular compass. You know what to do. Bring the leg a little higher if possible. Again, you can grab the outside of the left foot or the strap. We're gonna either try to stay here, come a little harder, a little stronger, a little higher. And all the way, last thing we do is look towards that right armpit. We got one more breath, guys. And slowly release. Shake it a little, bring the left leg on top of the right leg. Send the hands forward and we're just gonna have a little stretch here. Shaking the shoulders, shaking the hips. Let's do two more breaths. You guys did amazing. A lot of work happening today. I hope the wind is not too strong and you guys are able to hear me properly. If not, We'll do this again. <laughs> anyway, guys, one more breath, wherever you are. Deep inhalation, deep exhalation. Slowly start walking the hands back to the center. We're gonna lean back to go into one more bow pose here, reaching forward. Slowly going into your low boat here. Coming to the low boat, reaching to the front, belly in. Option to extend the arms to the back. Hold the depth inhalation and slowly bring the knees to your chest. Give yourself a well-deserved hack. Rock it side to side or stay still. Come back to the center once you're ready. Open the arms chest level. Cross the right leg over the left. And we're gonna drop the knees towards the left side, looking to the right. Enjoying that opening, sinking into the floor. We got one more breath here. Slowly untwisting and crossing other leg in front and dropping the knees to the other side, looking to the left. One more breath. Slowly and twist. Extend the legs, extend the arms to the ceiling. Let the blood come back into your heart. Take one more breath there. And slowly bring yourselves down into your favorite form of Chavasana. Let everything go here. Let the shoulders open, let the hips release. Allow your body to absorb the benefits of your practice. Amazing job, well deserved Shavasana. Just relax, let go, and melt into your mat. It was a pleasure getting you to this practice today. I hope you have fun, and I hope I get to see you again very soon. Namaste. <laughs>